Hey Siri, how many days until August 21st? It's 25 days until then. I think it's missing something. I'm uh, leaving home in 25 days. Ever since I finally bought my ticket one way, everything's kind of just felt so real for the first time, you know? For the last two years, ever since I went to Hawaii, all I've wanted was to feel that feeling again of traveling and the spontaneity of traveling, meeting people, knowing who I am and just feeling so confident in everything I do because I'm doing what I love, which is travel. Now that I'm getting back into traveling, I know what I want again. I'm gonna do a four episode series, AKA the four weeks leading up to my departure. Let me give you a brief overview of how each week is gonna go. Just brief, very brief. All right, week one, AKA this week is gonna be all about health. Pretty important, you know? Health being physical health, mental health, emotional health, and spiritual health. I wanna make sure my routines are nice and grounded and that I keep them with me before I go. Week two, the to-do list. Ugh, you bet your booty that if I have 25 days before I go, I have quite a hefty to-do list to get accomplished before I depart. Week three, connections. A little bit of a sad week, you know, spending time with the people I love, those last final moments. Ugh. I hate this, but I also love it. But I hate it, but I love it, but I hate it, but I love it. Spending time with the people I love, nurturing those connections even while I'm away, something that I haven't really done a great job of in the past. And then week four, the final preparations. So saying goodbye to everybody, packing. Oh my God, I'm gonna miss you so much. <laughs> packing, saying goodbye, and then also just like cleaning the spaces I usually occupy. So my room, my car. That's a brief overview of the next four weeks. Let's get into week one, baby. No one ever considers this, but an important part of health is hygiene. And honestly, it's sort of like a spiritual renewal when you just wash your entire body. And I'm gonna be real, I haven't showered in about two days because I've been sick and immobile, literally like disabled, so. <laughs> I smell just a little bit. I need a spiritual renewal. And just like that, I feel renewed. It's that simple. I feel like shit, take a shower. Something else I was talking about here was the importance of rest. In the week that I was sick and recovering, I spent like literally two full days just sleeping all day. And on the third day, I felt significantly better, which is why in this clip, I was just strongly emphasizing the importance of rest within health and within your healing and recovery process. Happiness is not a possession to be prized. It is a quality of thought, a state of mind. Welcome. Today's session is inspired by the power of manifestation. We're often told our dreams are too big, not realistic, even that they are a fantasy. Gloria Anzaldúa reminds us Nothing happens in the real world unless it first happens in the images in our heads. As you continue into your day, may you always return to this vision. Wildest dreams and align.
bring your life to this place. Namaste. Let's go. <laughs> kind of want a matcha, but I think my milk's gone bad. There's little curdles in there. Let's pour that out. Isn't this bottle super cute though? I reuse it. Looking with Clara segment. I'm in pain. I'm gonna take an ibuprofen. I don't even care. I try to stay away from ibuprofen as much as I can because I care about not absolutely obliterating my stomach's lining, but hey, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. I've been through physical hell this week. Without ibuprofen, I've just been going through it. You know what I think we should do? What's that? Epic cooking montage. One more time. Epic cooking montage. One more time. I can't hear you. Epic cooking montage. Health is also happiness. And you can't be happy if you're forcing yourself to eat things you don't love. If you're forcing yourself to eat things that make you and your body feel bad. Mm. Abby, what are you doing? Modesty, camera's on. My room is an atrocity right now. Um, between being sick, okay, I went out last weekend and you know how like when a girl goes out and you try to find an outfit and it's just like chaos? Well, I just never, I've been recovering since that weekend. So for the last week, this has kind of just been accumulating, but I'm not having it. Mental health, right? You gotta have your space clean, no energy leaks. We gotta clean this up. I'm not having this anymore. So this is my priority today. The key to being productive is to not expect too many things of yourself, but to set one non-negotiable thing to do each day. Just one. So that once you complete that one thing, boom, productive day. Hair's going up. I'm stripping down to a bathing suit because it's hot as ball sacks. And we're gonna get into this thing. 
Okay, I'm adding to the mess already. I ran the storage on my memory card, my S First of all, look how much I'm sweating from cleaning my room. I have my fan on and everything. It's so hot! But I want to show you my fit. Uh, sponsored by Chloe's Closet. <laughs> it's giving like Greek goddess kind of vibe. <laughs> this top is completely separate. There's a matching top for this, but I don't really like it. It'd be cute as a tube top though. Can I make it into a tube top? Answer, yes. Let's do this. It looks like the incision here, the straps were separate to the actual top, so it should look pretty seamless. So my vision of making this a tube top is coming true today. Why do? Why would you need a seamstress when you can be the seamstress yourself? Tube top! Let's see what it looks like on. And now I can make this into like a little headband. I don't know. I feel like it would look better if I reversed. Like this would be the bottom and this would be the top. Okay, yeah, I like that so much better. Like it's a little more loose here on the bottom and I don't care if it pinches me on the top. We don't need any more belly rolls than we've got. I just made this outfit from a two to a 10. <laughs> finished cleaning my room. Well, not just finished, cause as you can tell the sweat is all dry. But I'm sitting on my couch, which no longer has clothes on it. This is all going into my car to be donated or sold. Bed is clean. She's clean. That's that's it. That's all I gotta say. I feel great. I'm happy the mess is gone. My room feels more open. Yay! yay, 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 yay. These last two years have felt like just a constant chase for something that I know won't satisfy me as much as traveling does. I've been trying to find myself, trying to find my roots here, trying to build a life here. This travel is going to be a lot different than the last one because I don't know when I'm gonna be coming back. Mm -hmm.